will I take you into my room, lay you down, Ow. way down. Take off your clothes, all of mine too. I'm in the night, it's closed the door. We don't need them, I can close the door now, baby. Listen, you guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to your family. Welcome to the mental house. With me, your host, Khadija. Um, yes, I've been gone for a little bit, trying to fix this memory here, trying to get some more memory. And um, I hope y'all all enjoyed uh, your little colon uh, colonizer uh, birthday celebration for those of y'all. Uh, for those of y'all who just made it a family get-together, and uh, you know, regardless of what, um, I'm glad y'all made it through safe if you did. Okay, let's talk about something, y'all, because a lot of people got mad at me on yesterday or the day before because I'm going to stand by what I said about Dr. William Cosby. Y'all didn't cancel Felicia Rashad because um, there's this cancel culture that's going around and just like uh, Judge Joe Brown and y'all know he's not necessarily my favorite person but right is right, wrong is wrong. I thought that interview that he did with Mark Lamont Hill was right out the park because what y'all don't realize is that it is a method to this crazy ass madness that they call America right okay now let's go two minutes two minute mark going so I can talk freely okay let me say this what y'all are getting caught up into is the fact that people keep saying he's a, he pushed drugs he gave these women drugs okay let me tell y'all something for, for, first of all, for those of y'all who ain't never hung around somebody that was balling because of what they had or hung around some big movie producer or some uh, big uh, record producer because you wanted to get on, then this conversation ain't for you. But you might want to listen because you might learn something. Okay? Listen. Bill Cosby came from an era. The way we did it back then and I said, Aaron, Bill Cosby is about 20 years older than me, but I'm still aware of his kind, his generation, same age around my father and all them, what they do. Okay? I knew people that were my parents' age that party. I knew people that were my parents' age that was preachers. Okay, so let's tell you about the party ones first, for instance. For instance, it's like the same older man that would sleep with Aretha Franklin. Okay, 12 years old. Um, a lot of people think she got pregnant by somebody older. Okay? Now, if she did, she did. She didn't, she did. I'm just using that as an example. It wasn't talked about as much as it is now. Okay? There was a lot of old men that got young women and young girls pregnant. Yeah. Sure was. And a lot of times people didn't do a damn thing about it, just like you went to the picnic with the rapists. However, speaking of the drug culture, though, it's a little different. Most people that get high and share drugs, they know about one another. They know what each other do. Matter of fact, it's a group of them. They hang out. That's the tie that binds them. They drug use. Okay, that's what tied them. Now here's the deal. Here's why, in my opinion, that I know they should let Bill Cosby out of jail because I remember all of it. I remember when it happened. I remember all of it. Okay, if you go back to Bill's recordings, all of them. Go back to his comedy albums. He talks about Spanish fly and all that stuff. Okay. It was no secret. I mean, we all talked about it then. Okay? That was part of the get down. Now, if you didn't want to get down and you knew people get down like that, your responsibility was to keep your ass out of that type of frat party. 
Now, come on, y'all. Don't be acting so freaking innocent. And if y'all were so innocent, we wouldn't have the kind of United Snakes that we had. If y'all were so ignorant and never um, involved yourself in nefarious and nefarious uh, 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 behaviors, this society wouldn't be the way it is now. So get up off your freaking high, lying, hypocritical ass horse. All the drug groupies or all the chicks that went with the dudes that because they had whatever it was. And back then, in the 70s, Quaaludes was hot. They was real hot. Uh, uh, Freddie Prince died from an overdose of Quaaludes. I ain't never really, really liked pills. Um, been a pill popper, but people that did pop pills, they like Quaaludes. It was a downer. Okay? There's a lot of drugs that um, were prevalent back then. They slowed them down um, as time went on. But don't be acting like it was the same mindset now that it was then. And all this damn Me Too crazy shit. Especially this that uh, chick Angie uh, Dickinson is that her name? Who everybody know in Hollywood? Get down and get down with everybody. Hell, I was reading a book um, with Eddie James and it was talking about how Doris Day was used to get high with uh, Sly Stone. I mean, come on, y'all quit this shit. Cut with the crap, okay? And now Sly Stone is living out a damn RV. Don't know if he on foot or horseback because of the drug culture in L.A. All right? Now, Hugh Hefner, all them dudes that Bill Cosby hung out with, back then it was acceptable. Don't just put them in the 2000s and shit and now make them all freaks and criminals because all y'all is. And if y'all ain't, then your damn mammies and daddies are. Because they asses done probably done it. Okay? Your damn mama probably done had a uh, a uh, 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 Koilu put in her or oh, your grandmama in her drink if she was a party sister and she might have went with the, some of the people that she knew that had Koilus and stuff and if Bill Cosby was there and everybody knew what his get down was the Spanish flying and all that kind of stuff so if she stayed and saw him that mean guess what she wanted to be a part of the take all crew so I'm sick of y'all sitting up here acting like Bill Cosby later on in life after Hannibal Burris made that damn joke and then it went crazy and then y'all had him come out again with a death bed position. They asked him if he ever did anything. He said, yeah, he he done it before. But what he went to jail for and the case that he opened it up for and the person, the case that he settled was for that Constance chick. That's the only case that we're supposed to be talking about. Did y'all see that New York Times magazine when they had over 50 women there talking about Bill Cosby raped them? All, uh, so many of them was liars and they all had on white. So many of them was drug addicts and people that Gloria Allred had told to put on, uh, had, had gave um, the okay to give the interview up with these damn lies. Come on now. I'm not going for all of that. So we, you know, we, we, we need to cut all this crazy hypocrisy. Bill Cosby, it, one thing Judge Joe Brown said that was true. It is up to them to prove him guilty. Bill Cosby was innocent of what they try to paint him as, in my opinion. That Constance chick took the Benadryl. He didn't put shit in her damn uh, drink. That's what we're talking about here. Constance. And then there's another story going out that she was telling her partner that, you know, or one of her people that was eventually her partner then, that when she running out of money, hey, why don't we go back to, with the bill and store him for some more money? This shit coming out about him now. Let's see if we can get on the bandwagon. After that case was settled, she took the appeals. He didn't put none in her drink. She took Benadryl. It wasn't even no Quaalude. That's the case that was before the court. 
Now, so what I'm saying is it was a miscarriage of justice for him to go there in the first place. Don't come trying me for shit I did in the 70s. Uh, and talking about some people hung out with me because I had all the fly weed or I had all the fly coke or whatever. And now all of a sudden, y'all ass is going to prosecute me? Come on, I turned y'all into whores or whatever? A drug, dope fiends? Look, y'all better wake up. Y'all better stop allowing this social media and this to allow these people to gas everybody up to the point where you being tried in the public media. You being hung, prosecuted, all this in the public court. Y'all better recognize. All right. I I'm going to go. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you.